David Cohn and Michael Kay wrapped up this with the Booth Report. Well, thanks a lot, Chris. We gave you the pitching matchup at the start, and now we'll wrap up that pitching matchup. First off, Homer Bailey, uh, a pickup for the A's in July. Actually pitched very well against the Giants last time out, and now he pitched well against the Yankees tonight. He did. He gave them a big lift, and he seemed to get stronger as the game went along. He, he looks like a completely different pitcher to me, and we mentioned it during the game. A lot more split-finger fastballs. He had, a, had these Yankee hitters out in front all night long, a lot of uh, off-the-end-of-the-bat type batted balls, and a lot of soft contact, so give him a lot of credit. Uh, he did his job tonight. Now, we did detail what a great season Domingo Herman is having, but... He does struggle on the road, and he struggles on the road giving up the home run. And boy, did he live up to that advanced billing today. He did, right out of the right out of the gate, too, in the first inning, two home runs. And uh, he put the Yankees behind the eight ball and with three runs in the first, another one in the fourth, and then settled down. Looked like he was going to keep him right there and give the, give the Yankees a chance to come back. But a big 0-2 hanging curveball that uh, may have been kind of kicked around in left field that allowed two runs to score, and his night was done. It was six, six runs, five earned runs, and, uh, you know, that's a bad way to end the start for Domingo who looked like he had kind of righted the ship but six runs was too much for the Yankees to overcome tonight and he's going to get another start on the road as well on this uh, this road trip so he's got to straighten out those problems yes we know that his record was the same as it was before tonight's loss on the road that it was at home but the ERA was a lot more now let's look at a positive sign for the Yankees Gary Sanchez has been having a good August so he hits a home run but then that monster home run by Aaron Judge this is a guy who has been home run starved of late that might be a good sign yeah well, Let's hope so. If you know, if if you're uh, looking at the Yankees' future prospects, that's how they're going to have to get it done. They're going to have to have those two guys, their their cornerstone franchise players, to kind of lead the way, and then on into postseason. If you're going to win this and get deep into October, those two players are going to have to hit a lot of home runs and be on top of their game because that's the name of the game for the Yankees this year. They're the Bronx Bombers. They score a lot of runs. They hit a lot of home runs. That's the way it's going to have to happen for them because we saw. The pitching's a little thin this year on the start, especially in the starting rotation, and you're gonna have to bang your way through if you uh, for their prospects to be uh, to be good for the Yankees in postseason. And another positive: the Yankees had a night off last night, and the bullpen essentially had a night off tonight. Loisaga picked it up after uh, Herman finished up, so they will be ready to go to try to even the series.